Mr. Frotto? What, Sam? What's the answer to this question? Oh, Sam, I can't help you. What, what is it a trance and neek anyway? It, it's nothing unnatural, is it? Shh. Gentlemen, might I remind you that there be no cheating on this final exam. Or you shall not pass! Good morning, students. Welcome to school. Remember, the thought of the day is... Um, part of the plan. The plan. Everything is about to change. Welcome to Ecology 101, the study of the nerd and geek in their natural habitat. I'm Gary. It's Rudy. This is John. And what does this cup mean? No, what? We are the knights who exactly. say... Neek! That's oh, what I was going right. to say. Oh, is that what you were going to say, Gary? Yes, Sorry. that's what they... Hmm. Anyway. Oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? What's this word spell? All right. Today we are checking out uh, a really... Um, well, we all had a homework assignment. My wife laughed at that one. About uh, watching the entire season of, actually, all seven seasons of The Clone Wars. Yeah. How, how far were you behind? When oh, when we talked last seven, time? Yeah, when season seven came out, and I said, you guys need to catch oh, up and season watch season two. <laughs> so I've been blasting really? that. Yeah. You watched the whole thing? I watched thing? the whole In one thing. City. How long did it take you? I don't know. I mean, I was watching... Did you sleep at all? Yeah, I was watching like a couple of episodes a day. Oh, I mean, man. they're only like 20 minutes, so... Right. I had to beat. I did four or five. <laughs> yeah, so it was tough for me to 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 watch because I couldn't binge season seven, so I was watching it as they were coming out. Oh, oh. so you're early on. Too, yeah, so, so by the time I got to season seven, they were all done. So right. yeah, and it didn't really kick in until the last four episodes. Mm, gotcha. Because it was. Wait, the, what are we talking about today? Uh, Clone Wars season seven. Oh, oh okay. that's what so, we're gonna do today. Then yeah. we're gonna. So we're we, gonna specifically do season seven. Yes, we're gonna do a couple episodes on this because it's a pretty uh, well, like any war, it's pretty intense, pretty uh, uh, detailed, right? A lot of parts going, a lot of moving parts. So, and say that again, Gary. A lot of moving parts. That's not what you said. What I say? A lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts. <laughs> a lot of moving parts. <laughs> there you go. So, um, let's, before we start season seven, um, so we all know the Clone War movie, right? Came out, uh, episode two, correct? Yeah. That so, was okay, gotcha. Well, you talking about the movie movie? The movie movie, yeah. Attack of the Clones. Right, Attack of the Clones. So we're talking part halfway two, through the two, early, yeah. yeah. So this Clone Wars really does open up a lot more through the, the, the wars, right? I thought it was longer than three years. I thought it was only three years. But uh, it seems like a lot more time went by, because Ahsoka, you almost watch her aging, right? Mm, kind of. But she was a teenager. There, yeah, mm-hmm. there, there's a. I think there was a big difference between her and season um, six and seven. Yeah. Really? Right. I yeah. didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. But I guess the question is, how long did the war maybe go on? Not, before maybe she not so much just the 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 style of the character itself, mm-hmm. but more of how she. Acted in oh, sure. Herself. She matured. We were trained to be keepers of the peace, not soldiers. But th- but there is a huge difference between her in the Clone Wars and movie Rebels. in season one, mm-hmm. where she was, you know, just a little kid, and you can right. tell like with her the the head mm-hmm. braids. It grew. That yeah. yeah, they grew. What are they called? The the head braids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, Ron's so going to get some of those. <laughs> there you go. I guess we can tell when you age. So, but um, well, let's go ahead and tackle this. So we're okay, talking. I don't know it. if we're going to break down. There are uh, thirteen episodes. Is that what it is? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're so, going to break down all of them. So there's, gonna... I think there's three sections into right three the, arcs. The season seven. So you have the the Bad Batch arc, mm-hmm. which is really cool because it had that, um, you know, the, I guess you call it the A team of the of the clones where they. You know, a group of guys that you know go in when no other clones. Oh are yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were it's like they what were they A rated though. They weren't called. The, <laughs> they were mutants, right? They were. Well, they were neither were the A team. They just got the oh, job. That's done. true because they were off. They're off. <laughs> These hey, guys don't you are talk off about too. the A team like that. Oh, they were the, awesome. The a, I mean, that's, that's what, what the A stands for, for right? baby. <laughs> well, I'm sure they thought they were too. <laughs> Wait a second, Hannibal was. Um, 
Hey there, Mr. T? He was. The name is Mr. T. First name is Mr. Middle name is that period. Last name is T. I pity the fool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Murdoch, the- you crazy. I ain't flying in that plane. <laughs> <laughs> So the Bad Batch, these guys were ones that didn't quite, you know, they're like the cookies that weren't <laughs> perfectly made. Yeah, exactly. Right. What are what? they called, though? They had a name. Oh, um, they're, they're called um, the 99s. Uh, the, what do they call them? Not Troop 99, but they call The Misfits. Yeah. Something like that. Ba- they're called the Bad Batch. Is that but, what they're called? Okay. But they're, but they're number 99 is what they call them. So yeah. a little, little off. We clowns have mixed feelings about the war. Without it. We wouldn't exist. But um, great characters, though, right? Just ones that... Uh, oh, be, Now, why'd they bring him in? Do you remember why? Why they, they brought had, the bad bitch in? Uh, they were looking for fives, right? Beyond that, though, what happened was... Um, no, because... Oh, uh, they're looking for Echo. That's yeah. what it was. Well, the reason why, because the Separatists were starting to figure out all their tactics. They yes, figure out exactly. Why. So they needed somebody who... Because they had to find Echo because of his... Mm-hmm. They, they tapped into him. And his matrix, style. yeah, exactly. Hey, they turn yeah, matrix turned him into a, a Borg, if you want to kind say of. Star Trek, mm-hmm. yeah. And they were, I always to... Star Trek and everything, man. <laughs> everything is Star Trek, make it so. <laughs> but, um, well, hey, they're all these things. Are, hey, all you know, all these guys who are writing Clone Wars, they've gotten so much influence, so it probably takes something from here. I watch watching the Clone Wars general, I'm saying. Hey, that's from Wizard of Oz. This is from where? What so was all these from Wizard of Oz? I don't remember the Tin Man. <laughs> oh, no. maybe the clones are. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's just elements. Did you just give me a fake laugh? <laughs> 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 but you know, nothing's the, this galaxy's far, far away is not uh, ours. Influences it. So, all the references. It's one of those cool examples of, um, of you know taking a character that had one line in the prequels and mm-hmm. making it into like a huge story. So he had the the techno union army mm-hmm. is the one that uh, tapped into Echo and was using yes, you know, all of his mind. And I think that that gen the leader of the techno union, mm-hmm. Wat Tembor, is that his name? Yeah, the mm-hmm. techno union army is at your disposal, Count. So he was in Revenge of the Sith. He was in with all the leaders that yeah, after Anakin had you know. Brought them to Mustafar and just slaughtered them all. To come over for a party. We're having a party. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a hot party tonight. Exactly. Yeah, those guys were... You know, it's funny. If you think about it, I don't know if this is the right time to talk about it, but if you look at the two sides, nobody expended people. They made clones. They made pe- no, People didn't actually get involved in the war. They made their own army, right? To fight their own fight. Right. The clones weren't... Well, like, well yeah, I beg to differ there. Because the clones, they were people. Yes, but that's a whole different topic of clones are people too, mm-hmm. right? Clones and are they had their own too. original personalities. None of them were the same. No, yeah. they and all look different, right? Yet but you wouldn't know same. that unless you got to know them too. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of cool, cool topic too. So exactly, and the the brothers. Um, well, actually, oh, you said the um, they're called arc troopers. Mm-hmm. That's what um, Echo and Fives and all those guys were, right? The, the top of the line. Mm-hmm. And so they had all, and Rex was part of that too? Yeah, Captain Rex. So they were all part of the whole. Um, you know what his first name is? Rex? T. Right? <laughs> T Rex. That's it. <laughs> he runs around like this. You're right. He stands for two. Cats run away and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But the Bad Batch were great. They had a, you know, really smart, really strong, and they didn't do things. They all had their specialties. Specialties, right. So you had the muscle, you had the... Uh, brains. The, yeah, the brains, the sniper. Right. The tactical guy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, but it's interesting, the variety, of, you know, the variety of clones that you could get out of one Django Fett. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So and that was... At the end of that arc, that um, Echo felt he was so different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, after he being, left, yeah, he yeah said, he left I gotta and go. joined mm-hmm. and joined the Bad Batch, yeah, because they, you know, he felt that you know he was at home with, you know, those guys that were uh, different than everybody else, way different, yeah, because yeah, he didn't fit in with his regular clone troopers anymore, right? Yeah. You know, it's funny he'd been talk- altered, you yeah. know, ir- irrevocably. That's a good word, irrevocably. Yeah, right. You know, what the you say, but you know what's funny about the the whole Clone Wars is they 
there's a lot of issues they brought up with, you know, from the outside, people saw them as the, they're all the same, you know, they're all a mindless army and, he, and you find out how much they are not. Yeah. They they're not themselves. drones. They're not drones. They're no. not robots. No. They're not, but not droids. Mindless droids, right? Hey, well, C three PO is not a mindless droid, right? R two D two is not a no. mindless droid. <laughs> chopper is not a mindless That's droid. Right. Yeah. Do you know what Chopper is? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Yep, I he's funny. Yeah, he is funny. <laughs> you know the way they felt about droids is the kind of way that uh, the um, uh, in the newer movies uh, when they went back to you know. Take, uh, taking kids, raising them up to be the new stormtroopers, right. mm-hmm. and then there was like the debate Finn? of should we, yeah, should we go back to clones or should we go back to, you know, this new system stealing of, children, right, right. Boy, those are both good choices, aren't they? <sighs> My gosh, that's terrible. Just it depends you know. on the kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some great skill. He's got some game on. There you go. Yeah, you know what, I just don't like my kid. You can have him. <laughs> <laughs> How much you want for him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, so the thing about yeah, these these clones really did. Uh, they've had some interesting stories, and you'd think stormtroopers, right? We think of stormtroopers, but they flipped it all around. Like now they're people, and they had stories. Yeah. And yeah, and if you when you get into rebels, you see that. Oh really? Between Kenan and um, Rex, he's kind of like you're just that's just you. Your story's like no, that's not me at all. Okay, kinda, re- sort of, kind of. Yeah. We find out Rex, yeah, he uh, mm-hmm. Order sixty six, the big change and everything too, which they brought in earlier. What? Started seeing the uh, Rex or no? Um, was it not Fives? Who was it that his chip started early? Oh, Tub, Tub, yeah. Tub got his chip. Yeah, yeah. So it's from this side of the war, we see all the little pieces and parts coming mm-hmm. together. So, so who was it that got? I mean, they got the chip out of Echo, and who else was that? Was that Rex? No, Rex had his, which we find out later. Yeah, it no, uh, no, Rex still had his. They all had him. So who was it that else? So Tup, Tup was the one that found mm-hmm. the chip. He had the first malfunction. He's the one that uh, uh, that murdered the Jedi during the mission. Yeah. So who was the it sisters. that went to get him and get the chip out of him? It was Fives. Yeah, it was Fives, yeah, fives right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and then because of everything happened, he had to. Uh, well, he died too, didn't he? No. He did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gave their life for him. Yeah, it's interesting how they really designated them. Yeah, who's left know. over after? It's Rex. Um, Cody. Cody. He's not in that, no, though. No, in Cody Rebels. was in... in Because the, there's three of them left. The first episode mm-hmm. of that last arc. Oh, yeah. gotcha. But who's left in Rebels? You got Rex. They're old men now. Oh, yeah. I forget oh, the I other two. I forget the other two. Oh, that'll be interesting to mm-hmm. come out that too. Yeah. I figured they were still. It's, it's cool. There's yeah. three of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're they're kind of put on weight in the whole thing too, right? Oh, they're huh? retired. They're retired. Yeah. yeah, but then they kind of sort of come out of retirement. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. That's good. So there, there's someone in uh, in Rogue One that looks like Rex. Really? And oh, they, and, and they, they talked had, about that. They had said that. Oh, this is Rex. So Rex was was at the uh, oh, the, the last battle back. on Rogue One. Oh, yeah. wow, that's cool. Yeah. It is neat how they're connecting it. Yeah. You know, so hey, he was part of that mercenary group that, wow. that came in. That's so I cool. don't know why they couldn't just, with those stupid movies that you guys like, just taken this and done movies based upon. Well, maybe some things Clone are kind Wars. of like. Well, uh, I, I, I think uh, the way that the prequels came out mm-hmm. made, you know, the separate series even better. Mm. Because you'd taken the huge risk with the prequels and be like, all right, we know what works and doesn't work and you know, what was missing. So, yeah. You but know. I will tell you the, I think Clone Wars, the cartoons is way better than the movies. It's opened and, up a lot more. Uh, yes. Nah, way better. It explains than the a lot. Yeah. Well, the I think they yeah, were the, well written. We have the time for uh-huh. the character development. Uh-huh. I mean, there's uh, you know, even with that first arc of the, the bad batch where uh, Obi-Wan has a conversation with Anakin and says, Hey, you know, be there to support Rex, but you know if he starts to go off the edge, you know you, uh, and it wasn't you know you as a leader or a general. Yeah. I said be there as a friend. Wow, yeah. And so that that kind of that was kind of a side of Anakin that you know we had only seen with you know Ahsoka. You know we had that relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka, but then you know we forget that you know Rex has been there the whole time too. So yeah. Um, so there were there were times where maybe as a uh, a general and a leader, Anakin should have said, "Hey Rex, maybe we need to pull back. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe this isn't." But he he saw how important this was to Rex, so he switched the you know the general switch and 
turned on the French, uh, the friend switch and be like, okay, yeah, you know, let's, let's do it. Cause he's Rex knew about he and Padme, right? Yes. Because he could do when they had, yes. a, yeah. Cause yeah. he would go into his, there was an Bunker. episode where his Obi Wan's looking for him yeah. and he's like, where's Anakin? Where's he's like, always oh, in from? my chambers right now. Yeah. Sir. He from. <laughs> yeah. What's so, he doing in there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's he's cool. test. He's looking at more equipment. But see, first we have that thing to do. Hey, what thing? You know? We don't have time for that, sir. Yes, we do. Whatever, well, what's yeah. funny is I don't know if this is the right time, but we are getting it. Is so let's move on because <laughs> well, no, stop right there. General Krell, Krell, remember that guy who was just a jerk and he treated the clones. Oh really yeah, 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 yeah. You see how much. The, You're talking like that was like a season oh, yeah. three or four. It's or back like away. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk about him too. He was a punk. yes, all kinds of words for him. Mm-hmm. But if you can see the difference between how the Jedi, obviously, because he was not, he, mm-hmm. he betrayed him, treated the clones like they were people. He treated them like they were droids. Yeah, and you do what I say. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole dynamic of friendship and relationship and kind of like uh, how trust. you treat us. Exactly. You're Krell. That's your new name. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Right. Well, even in the prequels, I mean, th- that attitude, you can see it in, in Obi-Wan, I think, where um, everybody was getting ambushed, clones are dying, Anakin wanted to stay and help the clones, and mm-hmm. Obi-Wan says, no, nope, they have a job to do, we have a job oh. to do. So th- it was just more of a, you know, the clones are there to make that sacrifice right. while we do this. But his attitude, but his mindset changed after that. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean after years and years of you know fighting yes. alongside the Anakin clones. got it first. Yeah, so that's good. Doug. They're all they all grew. They all grew too. So. Yeah, Anakin grew for sure. Yeah, he really grew. Oh, <laughs> the Darth Vader. Oh, he yeah, his arc is crazy. Just the stuff that he we got to see. Inside. So, what's our second arc on? So there? the second arc is when we have uh, Ahsoka come in. Yes, okay. I mean. This is where she gets. She yeah. comes back. She, she, oh, she I, comes back. I'm not a huge fan of this arc. I think it was just like. Oh, the sisters. Send them to go get it and give them one rotation. If they don't come back, I'll tell you where their family's from. That should motivate them. Ahsoka, why would you say that? Because she's a snake. Yeah, the sisters, and I don't know. It's. Um, I think it was like the. You know, kind of the buffer and the sandwich between mm. a really good opening. And kind of, I, I I call that second arc like a fluff piece mm. until we get into the actual okay. meat and potatoes of season seven. Gotcha. But it was, I mean, it was fine. I mean, I had a, had a decent story. The sisters had a great storyline. You learned the um, undersided Coruscant, things going on. Right. And, and, it, Jedi. and it, uh, it shows um, what the people outside of the Jedi Temple think of the Jedi. Right. right. You know. From the, but they don't get the inside of scoop. Yeah, and it and it kind of resonates, you know, even even stronger right now where you know people look at law enforcement these days and sure. and so there's you know different people and in, in different types of living situations that uh, you know see the and you know yeah. enforcement side a little different than you know what somebody else on the you know the upper levels of Coruscant. Uh, One impatient they, Jedi made their whole perceptive change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then one Jedi changed it, which is awesome. She's not a Jedi. Well, but she said if more Jedi were like you, then I would. Yeah, but she's like not a Jedi. Jedi. Oh, I think she's a great Jedi. I think <laughs> she wasn't a Jedi. I'm sorry. I know she's more of a gray, actually. I think in some ways, but we'll get into that later too. I'm sure. Well, no, she, she, yeah, she was in line to be a Jedi. I mean, she wasn't. She didn't graduate to be she a Jedi. The, she was still a Padawan. Uh-huh. Yeah, but she has the qualities of a good Jedi. She's beyond. She is beyond that. She's. she's be, I mean, she's out seriously. When you see her grown up. Oh yeah, and the things she can do. Oh yeah, yeah. she's Amazing. she's beyond the greatest of Jedi's. <laughs> right, that's why I said she's mm-hmm. got a good handle of both mm-hmm. sides of the force. If you were so. to take uh, the way I look at her, viewing her now as an adult, she, if you were to take sort of Mace Windu uh-huh. and Yoda uh-huh. and put them together, so greet them, I will. General, you don't want to take that whole column by yourself. <laughs> Have you three? I do. Outnumbered are they? Both. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty good combo that's in terms good. of for her. her her connection with the Force right. and understanding of the Force right. and her yeah. lightsaber skills, yeah. Oh yeah, she got the whole package. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, and she got the right mindset on top of it. So. She can look at both sides very. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she sees both sides. Well, the way she handles Darth Maul, you know, there's just things there too. You know, the whole. We'll get into that too, but mm-hmm. 
Yeah, she's got a. <laughs> so you, she's a you didn't like this? You just thought that was more like, hey, this is how we're reintroducing Ahsoka. Yeah, because I think they, I think it was just bringing it in. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, her showing her attitude towards the Jedi, showing mm-hmm. the outside perspective of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the uh, the whole spice trip was i don't know yeah introducing other care of the elements so yeah the, the, the dark side the the criminal side mm-hmm. and yeah, I, I i think the other thing is that they cat i mean from what i understand she's a pretty important character to people now so i think they felt like they kind of had to bring her back mm-hmm. I'm oh guessing. yeah definitely yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we know what she's you know. gonna end up at too where yeah i'd be on the mandalorian too i heard so that connected like she jumped in live that. action yeah. i think uh-huh. uh you know, even before the season seven and, and then the return of her and Rebels, mm-hmm. uh, she's become, you know, a, a huge character, you know, e- even, you know, a bigger character than someone that you pull in from the original you yeah. know, trilogy. Don't sure. you ever, don't, don't you ever say, say, that. say that again. <laughs> oh. I would, I would, you know. She's not even more important than Hammerhead. She is more important than, <laughs> you know, a Lando you see a lot of these or something. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you oh say God. that? Mm. Colt Princess 45? Leia, how are you doing? You looking <laughs> my, very special. My, what have we here? <laughs> nice. Uh, but it's, you know, it, it, not all, uh, it's almost like a, th- there are filler pieces in there. And someone said you can skip this and that, but sometimes you pick up little pieces of whatever. But her whole, um, I think the whole thing about, again, the, changing the mindset of people that's what we're going for on there you know the, that she was trying to she's trying to figure out herself and in the process people are seeing a real she deals with real issues that's what a jedi would do they deal with the tough issues of life yeah well, and I, I, not avoid I, them i think in general she thinks that the uh you know the jedi i think she she still thinks that the jedi does a greater good mm-hmm. um, than not yeah. you know like i said you know how it, it resonates to you know what's happening now is that, you know, there are a, a lot of aspects to, you know, what's going on with law enforcement is is good. Like, the mm-hmm. 90% of it is, mm-hmm. you know, they're oh, there to serve, locals. protect. Yeah. We need them. Mm-hmm. But there's that 10% that, you know, we just Oof, need to yeah. improve, uh-huh. tweak. You know, get and, that, and that... And <laughs> get rid of, yeah. yeah, yeah that crap, and that your... 10% is just so magnified right now because it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing how, you know, a small portion of it is just you know, completely, you know, shadowing and covering everything else. Yeah. And they're that's the, kind of the, the spe- Krell. that's kind of the perspective mm-hmm. of they're the Krell of, Krell, of the, the Dukus, police department. Uh-huh, yeah. The ones that have mm-hmm. twisted it. Yeah. Because they all look at him, he mm-hmm. got a lightsaber, you're a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's also Sith. Yeah. And that's kind of looking at those, the ones that have take ruin it. Yeah. And so, you know, you have these two sisters that, you know, you know, have lived through a tragic event of, you know, during a, a pursuit, you know, between a Jedi and someone else that, you know, their parents died. In Zero their, the hut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That their parents, uh, you know, died during that process. And yeah. so now that, that 10% is, you know, magnified and emotional. You know, yeah. It's yeah. kind of a, yeah. obviously, you know, done some damage to them. Yeah. But the thing is they, they pulled aside, they spent time with a Jedi and they kind of got their faith back in some ways too. And well, also, they realize that not all Jedi are that Jedi, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, and then with Ahsoka, you know, you know, her coming to be, you know, one of the, you know, greatest Jedi's, um, the greatest Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> and I think because she had, you know, learned that, oh, you know, there are some. Go Bo-Katan. back to Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan? Remind me real quick because I think I'm rusting. I didn't hear about that name. Yeah, so so um, her going through the process of, you know, the one they dumped the spice mm-hmm. and they were trying to get oh. everything. Yeah, back. I remember that. Yes, there was like that was the dumbest thing you could have. Both of them, but we we finally yeah, agreed. Yeah, there was somebody <laughs> with the, you know, with the cloak that mm-hmm. was following. Oh, bugger! That's the um the 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 death squad. Saxon, prepare our forces for an all-out attack. Rook, inform the syndicate of the invasion. Discord people, um, the good ones, right? And yeah. her name is Bokatan. That's the sister of. That's the sister uh-huh. of uh, of, uh, of Satine. 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 Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Connected. I remember her name. So. Yeah, I didn't remember her name either. But she was. They were looking for her because they knew she's the only one that could help them. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Cool. And what then that you? starts the the final the final arc of the siege of Mandalore. Which is, right? Is it the siege of Mandalore? 
The Siege of Mandalore. The final mm-hmm. one, yeah. So, yeah, that's... Uh, and they, they changed the uh, the theme and the entrance. Oh, it's uh, all the different, the different... So they went back to the movie text, so... Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. and they purposely done that. that they said, you know, this, you know, we kind of consider this as a, a full movie. Wow. The, the four episodes. Oh, wow. So they, so they treated it like that way. Pretty cool. And I noticed that in the titles, the titles had changed. Sometimes they were red, sometimes they were... Right. Why was that? Some of them were dark side, right? Yeah. Like with Molly, yeah, they had dark side arcs. Right. With like Mother, what's her name? Doug from Dag, duh, where's Darth Vader's or Darth Maul's planet? Duh, Dagomir? No. Oh, I know what you're D- talking Dathomir. about. Dathomir. Dathomir, yeah. Yeah. With Ventress and uh, right. the Mother, whatchamacallit. And, uh, Which Dathomir, we, you know, we were talking about the whole universe itself is super close to Tatooine. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. It's funny the dark and light planets are because Dag- Dagobah is very close to Mustafar. So it's just kind of funny how they're all like, you know, paired up or so close but still so far away, right? Mm-hmm. Close physically, far away philosophically. There you go. Um, yeah, that was a great arc. That was really you got a lot of stuff with the Mandalore, and obviously they you're getting the whole Mandalorian culture, which we knew very little of before all this. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of a, they were very important. And I didn't realize how much they could take on a Jedi, right? Mm-hmm. Because they had equipment to take them on too, mm-hmm. which is forbidden. I got Darth Maul. The Jedi and the Republic will die. And I'll tell you well, what. I mean, Jango Fett went toe-to-toe with, with Obi-Wan. Yeah, he did pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you realize what they can take on. So... You, yeah, so they're formidable foes for the Jedi, but they're also friends too. So the Siege of Mandalore, you know, we find out that uh, Maul still runs Mandalore. Yes. Yep. So wow. Still has the dark saber. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, wait, did he already have the dark saber? He mm-hmm. got it from. Yeah, he killed. He what, killed Satine. Yeah, but when though? I can't remember that. Like in the season? Yeah. Season five, I think. Was it? Okay. Yeah. But he took it from a. Uh, yeah, the leader of the Death Watch who right. had it. They fought. Uh, Previsla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yes, Previsla. Mm-hmm. Wow, but that sword is almost like Excalibur in it. In Which Previsla is voiced by? John Favreau. Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. So So he plays two Mandal- uh, Mandalorians. Yeah. So he, he voices the the one in Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, the big guy. The big guy, yeah, that yeah. was that was uh, fighting huh. uh, Mando. I think he kind of likes Mandalorians. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of his thing. Well, it's it's interesting culture to explore. It has a lot of history. We didn't know that too. So, but um, yeah, crazy stuff. Huh? The whole back and forth, good ones, bad ones, fighting it out, and mm-hmm. that whole it, planet. It broke out the. I think this was a big. Uh, aside from it being an obvious big uh, Ahsoka series, yeah, the last uh, the last episodes, but it was huge for Darth Maul. Oh yeah, and it 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 kind of. You know, did full circle of how important just um, a character that only had two lines in in the Phantom Menace and he was gone. Become such a um, uh, integral part in the whole, yeah. you know, Star Wars, you know, flow. He's he's he's. You know what? The more I watch him, the more I realize, and I could be wrong in this. He's not as much of a Sith as you think he is. I mean, he's bad, but I almost think he and uh, Ahsoka are very similar. Because they get each other. I mean, like, where he... Because I, I know later on when he fights Obi-Wan, he kills him. There are things about him that he says, is he the chosen one? I mean, he's looking. He's looking. He's lost, is what he is. He's a very lost character, but he, he's got a lot of good depth to him. I just a really good character. Yeah, I don't think... Um, a I don't bad, think Maul character. was... Maul was very much into the... Um, the history, the lore, the yeah. uh, gaining knowledge of you know the the force itself, rather than the whole picture. Just, rather than just being a you know dark uh, dark side wielding Sith, yeah. you know, right? He was, um, you know, he got shafted for that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know, come to learn that you know of all the tools that you know uh, Darth Sidious had, you know, he, Maul was just a. You know, just one, a, a, another tool. Just, just another tool that was, you know, he took the waiting, first one, waiting away. for the chosen one. Yeah, uh-huh. right. Mm-hmm. And so he, and, and he can kind of see that, you know, he saw with, you know, Dooku, he was just, you know, uh, just, he's observing. Just another tool. Yeah, yeah, he's been very observant, super open to, 
uh, what's going on with yeah. uh, with what the emperor was doing. Yeah, he's not just a like a mindless kind of machine. Because mm-hmm. in Clone Wars or uh, Attack of the Clones, you think he's just like this fierce animal. He's not. He's very. I mean, when they brought him out of like his loony bin state, mm-hmm. right? You know, he just he had a lot in there that just couldn't be expressed, and he caught his sanity back. You know, it it, it kind of goes into parallel with you know the the story arc to like Nebula. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So where mm-hmm. she's she's super close to this huge villain. Um, you know, would you know do anything to uh, to make him happy? Same thing with Maul. I mean, he you know had lived. I want to do a good job, please. Yeah, you. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, be the best. You know, and coming to find out, you know, as she's you know, you know, being pulled back, pulled back of, you know, the overall story, and like, you know, wow, this is, yeah, you know, this is awful, and I need to, mm. you know, kind of get out of it. But at the same time, there's there's things that you know, kind of stick with you that you, you know, you wish wasn't a part of your life, but it molds you at the same time. Too. Right. And everybody has those bad, good and bad things happen too. You almost can see like, oh my gosh, he's got this, I don't know. He, he, he's got something there like, man, it's redeemable in some ways. You feel like he could be, I don't know if he ever did, but I'm saying as there are things about him, like make some, well, there's some of the best good characters. They have like gravitas or depth to them. You know, you're like, that guy's got, He's not just surface stuff, too. So that's what made his battles really well. Or he's asking about the way he talked about Obi-Wan or Skywalker or whatever. There's, it's weird, but it's almost like a certain affection. Yeah. <laughs> like he, my nemesis, I love my nemesis. <laughs> kind, of thing, you know? kind of crazy. And I think because he was, I mean, same thing with Ahsoka, that they were both outside of, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, you know, the... Right. The lar- dark their side system. and the light. Yeah, their system that they, they were in. Well, thinking that about the whole thing. Yeah, because uh, Yoda had always said that mm-hmm. he can't he can't see far past his you know his hands because the dark side clouds everything. Uh, Nobody could see. No one. No one as close, close as they the were. Problem. Yeah, no one could see what was going on except for the people that were outside of that. Sure. Because Ahsoka started having visions. She was having visions in Rebels, and then uh, Darth Maul was having visions the entire time in Clone Wars. Right. And so he. You know, he'd see things happening, and and even they had that conversation as, I think it was right after um, Order sixty six. Yeah. You know, Darth Maul said, "You're seeing what I'm seeing." Yes. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot there. You're just like, wow. They're just they're kind of completing things, or you know, you almost think, wow. They probably tell you you should work together. <laughs> you they, know, they did for a little bit, didn't they? They did. Yeah. Well, she had to once mm-hmm. the order went out and mm-hmm. everyone went crazy. They did, and but then there's that line that's drawn, you know, yeah. com- two completely different people. Darth Maul went different with philosophy. Okay, I'm going to take advantage of this, and you know, take go care back. of myself. Yeah, take Which care of myself. Which is more of the dark than, side, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And Ahsoka's, I'm here to help people. When they buried all the mm-hmm. truth, well, that was hard. Every choice made has led to this. Yeah, that was a. That was a. That was an ending, all right. That ship going down and having the men turn on them and her saving Rex and getting him off the right on the right mm-hmm. track. And then the fact is, and then I think that point where when the ship went down and then they buried them all, that told you a lot. They weren't just, they were his brothers, even yes. if they didn't, they blinded. And, and they were wow. people to her. Yeah. Right. And they, they what the great thing is when she came back and they all painted her, their armor for her colors, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. And it's, uh, it was good. And then the last thing with Darth Vader. It's like, you know, funny, you realize that she I never got that. to see him. I love that. She never got to see him after that. She said, oh, I'll talk to him later, and she never got to. Mm-hmm. Obviously, in Rebels, I know they're going to meet up. They do. Uh, did you Did you get there yet? Not <laughs> yet. I'm in that season, I think. Oh, my God. I could only imagine that part. See, that's how they hook you in, man. They're like, well, it doesn't quite end here. <laughs> it's yeah. like, There's more to come. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's great. And this this whole this whole last episode... It was called Victory in, what was it called? Victory in Death or something? Yeah, like Victory in Death. What a, um, it was such a, I shouldn't say long drag out, but it's, they kept the drama really going and just almost like real time, you know? And the fact is that uh, this is, a, it's an internal battle. We've seen all these external battles. Now you have all these internal battles of pe- between people. And that's what really made this show great is, so, is the people, how so, they grew from so it. So somebody too. on YouTube had put, uh, the sequence of this last episode and the sequence of um, Anakin becoming Darth oh, Vader from gosh, yes. Revenge of the Sith yeah. kind of going hand in hand 
because she um she heard she, yeah she was listening to as that Ooh, moment came she's when, got the jedi way yeah they did a good job with that he's on otapa you know he's talking with the with um obi-wan because you know what in her mind she thought he's looked dead mm -hmm. rex would have turned on him right because nobody knows and actually you think about it in the books and everything i mean not the books but in the whole sequence obi-wan people already figure he's dead because he got shot down right by right rex by Cody. so he's kind of his he's erased yeah so he could be quiet wow fantastic job i you know they they built you up and someone said you know that they really built the uh built this last season up and they weren't kidding so yeah, even yeah. anakin's hair moved <laughs> yeah it, 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 <laughs> the really, it, changed. it helped me enjoy the prequels a little bit more mm -hmm. i mean granted they're they're problematic there's a lot of issues but i think what the clone wars did with the uh you know the building of the characters and you know like expanding the stuff that was going on yeah. um you know kind of made those those movies uh, uh a little bit better yeah oh i guess so one of the things and rudy has a video up right now if you really notice even the animation the way they do it it's this very ex very they hold these moments mm -hmm. oh yeah it's amazing from, from season one to uh, to season seven huge improvements going on because and, and I think in and in, in a lot of it has to do with the uh, the overall production of it because yeah. originally the Clone Wars was uh, made by Nickelodeon oh. and then I can't remember who else picked it up there was somebody in between Nickelodeon and Disney but when they started getting that Disney money then changed yeah mm -hmm. and it, it was a huge change at uh, with uh, the battles lightsaber yeah. movements. I mean, if you look at a, you know, an, an episode one, you know, battle, huge difference to, you know, mm -hmm. the, I think this is, you know, really beautifully done. Yeah, I think so. And that's how things should be. They get better and better. Right. So and it was funny because I was talking to Ron about uh, John's distaste for the the uh, prequel trilogy. Seven, eight, nine. But in some ways, this has really helped maybe to soften a little bit, maybe to kind of add a little more, you know, like i don't know or or at least you go wow you want to watch it again no well no. there's certain things <laughs> no you remember nice enough. try though i don't know it, but it, it, it did for me i mean as soon as i finished this then, most people then then i went back Not to episode people. one two and three um misa like, thinks they still stink that's okay you can have your opinion <laughs> cha cha you're alive misa okay three so misa okay it's not a good opinion but you can have your I mean, it's they, okay, John. We love you. They even they even gave Jar Jar a a, a love story arc. In, oh, that's in right. The Clone Wars. Aww. I mean, if you it was can, happy, Aww. but it was alright. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one for me. Yes, right. My gosh, a queen, queenie. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Well, he kept calling. Oh, he kept calling God. Master and Mace. He was like, "What was that?" Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Mace Windu did not have it with Jar Jar. But he did. I, I'm, I'm Mace Windu. I want to <laughs> slap Jar Jar. Though he did say, "I have figured you out." He finally began to understand what you're talking about because he does talk in nonsense. Mm -hmm. But hey, at least they tried to they try to flesh everybody out a little more. You know what I mean? So that's one character they didn't need to flesh out at all. <laughs> yeah. Well. We had to finish him up too. Whatever, at, never in what happened to Jar Jar. Who Nobody cares? Knows. <laughs> like really? Who cares? There's a lot of people doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. So, well, good stuff, man. Well, I don't know if we any any of your parting shots. No. <laughs> so. Just the ending of season seven was awesome, dude. Wow. There, there's a lot it's of good super stuff. Super awesome, right at the end. I, I loved it. I think the time uh, Ahsoka's entrance into the Siege of Mandalore was probably the best entrance into a battle. Oh my gosh! I've ever seen jumping from ship to ship when she was jumping ship to ship, Whoa. and then she just rolled out on the landing. Yeah, you know, with her double blades. Mm. Oh my gosh! Yep, new blades that Anakin had made for her. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yes. What happened to her old ones? Remember, she lost them. Yeah, remember she gave them up when. She, oh, it's the Jedi's have them. She's like, you can yeah. have these. Oh, gotcha. I'm no longer a Jedi, and that's why she recognized when Darth Vader showed up. Found but then, lightsaber. see, but then there was some symbolism there because at the very end of the whole season, she yeah. drops it, just leaves it there on the planet, and well, walks away. Well, she has to act like she's dead, otherwise they'll hunt her down, right? No. So you can see Rex has the uh, the stunner. Uh, oh yeah, his, he's his he's not trying to kill them. He's trying well, to stun his it, out of Ahsoka's uh, direction. Yeah, it's, like don't kill Rex, him. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rex would have just. I mean, he's a soldier. Yeah. True. But those are his brothers too, though. He knows that they're blinded. 
So, oh my gosh, yeah, that's crazy. But um, yeah, yeah Ahsoka a, doesn't want to kill any of them. No, so no, no, I don't think she did. She probably just knocked them out. Or no, she says it. that. She says she doesn't want to kill right. Them. Yeah. But the thing is, is this final battle is it's very personal, very very personal. And then the the cap with whatever's going on, Anakin's mind. I have a question. I was watching while they're so the ship crashes. It's years later, right? The snow covers everything mm-hmm. up. And as he looks up, there's a bird flying. What is that symbolic of? Did you see that? There's some kind of large bird. That it pooped on his head? He's I like, I, I will get you. I don't know. If it's, <laughs> if I'm Ahsoka, having chicken tonight. <laughs> like Ahsoka. It's supposed to be her. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Anyways. No, but I thought that ending was super cool. Well, he picks up her lightsaber and, and he's like, oh, that's Ahsoka's. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And he just looks up. And that's the end of it. Yeah. There's probably a lot going on. And you know, the comics talk a lot about all that's going on inside his head. I'm sure really? he had a lot of stuff going on. He's like, a lot of regrets and a lot of what could happen if. And oh yeah, he jumped right here to the end. Oh my gosh. He becomes really dark. He does before he sees the light again, right? Yeah. So, but you know, it's some of these young ones that they realize, wow, you know, they've kept fighting and maybe it is worth fighting for. Because he kind of, he, he did it for a... Uh, uh, twisted love, I guess it was. Oh, that's kind of the re- whole like American Civil War. Is that Rex's? Where, you know, yeah, you're you're battling against you know someone that um, your brothers, cousins, yeah. right? But uncles. But at the end of the battle, at the end of the day, there it is. She's dropping know, it. They're all just like us. You know, they're we're all in the same yeah. country and mm-hmm. just differences. Yeah. So you see, I think she's just like I'm done. Yeah. I gotta let it go. Right. There you go. And uh, what John's saying, we were watching the last scene here of her dropping her lightsaber, and that's it. She so, walks away. Right. Did I'm not she, a Jedi. No. But she does. She but she but can yield lightsabers. She gets more of them down the road, I guess. Yeah, she does. Well, you, you can still build another one. Yeah. Yes. And this is kind of cool because you're watching it. Here comes the shuttle, and you realize the stormtroopers are not the same. It's changed. I wonder storm how much time has gone by. Watch. They're the they're they're not the clone troopers. No, they're stormtroopers. Yeah, no, that now. that shows time had passed. Mm-hmm. I wonder how much time is. Well, and they do that. Go. I think that's why they do that with this. You know, it becomes a snow planet because it's just showing how it's evolved, how yeah. long it's been. Right. Yeah. Could have been Hoth for all we know. Yeah, you know? could. Yeah, maybe there's a similar Hoth with the with the droid. Da da da, making the sound. Yeah, and they're wearing the backpacks from Tatooine. Crazy, huh? It's all changed. Now, at this point, are there still clones? They're switching over, aren't they? Because they're people and people now, aren't they? Yeah, I'm sure there's still remnants. I think they used clones for a while until... I think the star, stormtroopers are still... No. Who knows? There know. might be still be some. I, yeah, I'd have to look and see when they They'd switched from you know, clones to kidnap babies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to fins. There you go. He's taking the whole. They're having him move a lot, like oh, except he's stiff. He's moving like Anakin, but very stiff. Obviously, there it is. Wow, his same hands. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny now looking at Darth Vader and thinking Anakin. How many? How yeah, much he kept. it's it's hard. It's hard. See, right there. No, he's just her. looking at the skies. Though. Okay, like it's where is she out head. there? Yeah, but that's her spirit. Yeah. Or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it the owl from Rebels? An owl? I yeah, remember they had the the owl that kept following them? Oh, I don't oh, remember. Never know. Mm-hmm. There's, all, there's probably be. a lot of little Easter eggs Could be. stuff, too. Wow. Well, all guys, right. good stuff, man. Yeah. I. Uh, if you haven't seen Clone Wars... I haven't. Ron, did you finish him? Oh, hope he didn't ruin so it for you. In this one, they used... Um, uh, they used the... Hey, Ron, the spoiler movie. alert... <laughs> <laughs> movie accurate Darth Vader with oh. the helmet because you know you go back to Rebels and um, Rebels had used Ralph McQuarrie's design where oh, bigger. it was a little skinnier you know kind of narrower yeah. kind of meaner looking oh, mask okay. mm. and this one they went straight from uh, straight from the original trilogy nice there you go all right, tie it all together alright alright well sounds good well we enjoy that and thanks for hunkering down for part one of The Clone Wars and highly recommended highly recommended yes. if you guys haven't seen The Clone Wars go watch from it. start to finish you guys won't yep. be disappointed and if you listen to this you don't even need to watch it right that's what Ron says like, <laughs> <laughs> and even in the in the design and the creation and everything it's all you know done by you know Dave Filoni who's mm-hmm. um, kind of 
you know, George Lucas's Full of baloney. <laughs> uh, Padawan. That's and, good baloney. <laughs> you know, it, it, it kind of gives you that comfort level that once, you know, kind of George Lucas is, you know, if it's time to come, you, you know, mm-hmm. when he passes away, you know that the whole Star Wars universe is taken care of by Dave Filoni. And Dave Filoni, Filoni John the, Favreau, and all with, with the Clone Wars, with Rebels, and then going on to, you know, him helping writing and direct The Mandalorian. You can see the passion that this one guy has, yeah. and you know, it kind of and it's kind of gives you a little, you know, a bright future that, you know, anything that this guy touches, you know, that he has, you know, the passion that a lot of fans have because ultimately he's just a huge fan of Star Wars. Right. So they're going to protect it and make it work. Right. That's good. Well, stay tuned for part two. We're going to dig a little deeper in the characters. Hopefully, you'll stick with us. Uh, I'm still Gary. Still Rudy. Still John. And class is dismissed. Inform the Emperor that the Jedi Temple has been sealed. Yes, my lord. Any? What the? Any! Little Annie! Jar Jar, I am no longer <laughs> Anakin Skywalker. Be. These are some nice adults, you booba! Look, Jar Jar, it is hey. very important uh, uh, that you never speak to me again. What's that happened to you? Sir, burn your face? Ah! Jar Jar! Any Penny! What's that happened to you? Uh, <laughs> Jar Jar, homie. My main man, quick! Before the Separatists attack, get into the escape pod. Hey, if this is escape, then we're the pod. Jesus, the pod. <laughs> Annie, uh, you are not gonna believe it. Me are all sparkly glowing. Uh, now we are gonna have all the dandos spin together. I love you, Annie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Annie yeah. Thanks for listening to Necology 101. Thanks, everybody. If you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with what's new in the Phantom Universe. You can find Necology 101 on Spotify, YouTube, Podbean, or wherever you enjoy listening to podcasts. We love to hear from our fans, and your input helps make this show possible. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at God Among Geeks, or you can contact us at necology101class at gmail.com. We know you have a lot of fandom choices out there, so thanks for including us in your universe. Because we are the knights who still say, Nick! 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 Nick!